In this video, I'll be comparing outfits highly recommended for petites. So ladies, whether you're slim, curvy, plus size, or somewhere in between, there's something for everyone. Let's dive in, shall we? Ladies, let's break down these two looks. So imagine one with ankle boots and the other with open toe shoes. For petite ladies, both choices can be super stylish, but each brings its own perks depending on the outfit and occasion. Here's a comparison to help you decide which one might suit you best. Ladies, when you pair ankle boots that match your trousers, it offers two distinct advantages. First, it creates a leg lengthening effect by seamlessly blending from the hips to the toes, which is especially flattering for petite women. Second, this combination exudes sophistication and polish, making it perfect for both casual outings and professional settings. Plus, it adds a trendy, edgy vibe to any outfit. On the other hand, open toe shoes are a great choice, especially for petite women aiming to add a feminine touch to their outfit. They work beautifully in warmer weather and are perfect for more formal occasions too. When you show a bit of ankle between your cropped pants and ankle boots, it adds a subtle, stylish touch that comes off as more feminine and chic. On the other hand, when ankle boots touch the pants, they create a seamless, elongating line that enhances the appearance of longer legs, giving a streamlined and sophisticated look. This style is especially clean and polished when paired with well-fitted pants, offering a sleek and modern silhouette that exudes professionalism. So let's switch gears and talk about styling for plus size petites. There are a few key elements we can focus on, that is the belt, the neckline, and the sleeves. So let's start with the belt. First, let's take a moment to compare these two outfits and judge for yourself. So, one, which one creates a cleaner line under the dress? Next, consider which of these outfits provides a subtle waist definition that enhances your natural curves without drawing too much attention to the midsection. I'm sure you can now see the difference that each belt makes for the overall outfit. So here's my take. When choosing between a medium-sized belt and a slightly wider one, it really depends on what you're going for with your outfit. If you go with a medium-sized belt, you're opting for a more subtle and balanced look. It's great if you have a petite frame because it won't overwhelm your silhouette. Plus, it gives you lots of options when styling your outfit. On the other hand, if you choose a slightly wider belt, you're making a statement. It emphasizes your waist more prominently and adds a touch of sophistication to your overall look. This can be a bold move, perfect for creating a more structured appearance. Now, for all you ladies out there, both styles can be stylish and elegant. However, the medium-sized belt tends to be more versatile and proportionate, while the slightly wider one offers a more dramatic effect. The key is to try both options and see which boosts your confidence and complements your personal style the best. And remember, the type of dress and its fit also play a role in how your belt enhances your outfit. I'll dive into that in another video, so stay tuned. Let's talk about sleeves for a moment. Wide, short sleeves can sometimes make your upper arms look bulkier, which might give the impression of a broader upper body. On the other hand, sheer sleeves bring sophistication and elegance to a dress. They offer just the right amount of coverage while maintaining a light and airy feel. Sheer sleeves add visual interest and texture contrast, making them a stylish choice. For plus size ladies, sheer sleeves can be very flattering. They create a slimming effect by softening the appearance of the arms. The transparency of the sheer fabric gives the illusion of less bulk, helping to avoid a heavier look and making your arms and upper body appear more streamlined. The neckline you choose can really make a difference in how your overall look comes together, balancing elegance and how your body shape is perceived. High necklines can sometimes make your upper body look larger or shorter, which might not be the best for a petite plus-size figure. This effect can potentially make you look heavier since it doesn't elongate your neck or give a break in your torso.
On the other hand, V-necklines are a go-to for curvy women because they create a vertical line that elongates both your neck and torso. This is especially great for petite figures as it helps you look taller and slimmer. If you're looking for something different, stylish necklines like sweethearts, scoops, or wraps add visual interest while keeping that elongating effect. Choosing a V neckline or another stylish option will help you avoid looking heavier and instead create a longer, leaner line that flatters your curvy, petite figure. Ladies, let's take a look at these two outfits and focus on the dress hemlines. Notice the difference between a straight hemline and an asymmetric hemline? Which one do you think looks more stylish for your petite figure? Ladies, a straight hemline that falls slightly below the knee can be very flattering. It highlights the slim part of your leg, creating a look that is both elegant and sophisticated. However, there's a potential drawback for petite four feet women. This length can sometimes make the legs appear shorter, which isn't always the most elongating option. On the other hand, asymmetric hemlines are often more flattering on petite figures. They create vertical lines that draw the eye up and down, giving the illusion of added height. This type of hemline breaks up the horizontal line that can sometimes make shorter legs look even shorter. Wondering if a petite woman can wear a maxi dress? Absolutely. When chosen and styled correctly, a maxi dress can be very flattering for petite figures. Opting for a straight hemline provides a clean and continuous line, which can elongate the figure when paired with the right fit and accessories. However, it's important to note that if the dress isn't tailored correctly, it can sometimes visually cut off the figure at the ankles, potentially making a petite woman appear shorter. On the other hand, an asymmetric hemline maxi dress is generally more flattering, feminine, and elegant for a petite woman. It adds a playful, romantic flair with its uneven cuts, creating a softer, more flowing look. The movement and variation in the hemline add a delicate touch to the overall outfit, enhancing your style with grace and charm. When it comes to maxi dresses, the choice between a slit or no slit can really impact your overall look. Let's talk about a maxi dress without a slit first. While it can still be flattering, especially with a fitted waist and a structured design, it might overwhelm a petite frame if not styled carefully. The continuous length of fabric can make you appear shorter and less defined. To balance this, opt for nude pointed shoes. They create a streamlined effect, elongating your silhouette. Flat pointed shoes can work just as well. On the other hand, a maxi dress with a slit brings some fantastic benefits. The slit adds vertical lines that elongate your legs, which is perfect for making petite frames appear taller and leaner. It also adds a touch of femininity and movement to your look, subtly revealing the legs for a hint of allure without being too revealing. Plus, it instantly adds elegance and modernity to your outfit, making it flow beautifully as you move. So, whether you go for the sleek continuity of a slit-free maxi or the added allure of a slit, it all depends on how you want to express your style and enhance your silhouette. Embrace your unique advantage. Being petite means you have a natural charm and elegance that stands out. Celebrate your petite frame. It allows you to rock styles that others envy. Remember, self-love starts with embracing who you are. So, wear those outfits confidently, experiment with styles that accentuate your figure, and always remember, your petite stature is your superpower. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It will motivate me to share more petite styling tips. Thanks for watching.